In this video, we'll show you how to use the Advanced Grade feature in Remark QuickStats to customize the test grading process. Remark provides advanced grading options that allow you to grade your tests and include parameters that provide additional information about the tests and student performance. You can set pass-fail cut scores, create custom grade scales to match how you need to see scores, such as group by pass-fail cut scores, change the scaled scores to match standard tests such as ACT or SAT, add custom report headings, define question weighting, and display the learning objectives aligned to each question. First, administer the test and scan the forms as usual. To begin, click Advanced Grade. The Advanced Grade feature helps you design an answer key that you'll use to grade the test. On the Basic Test Options window, you configure test options for your answer key. If you've given the test before, you can simply browse to the location of the answer key you've saved and use the parameters you've already defined. Click Edit Grade Scale to customize your grade scale to include scales such as plus or minuses, pass fail, or mastery level. Or you can create your own grade scale. If you want to convert a student's score to a common scale, such as an ACT or SAT score, click Edit Scaled Score to configure how the scaled score will be calculated for each student. You can also use a test benchmark to determine the proficiency level that you want students to achieve. You can base the benchmark on the class average or a minimum percentage value you've determined. For this test, we'll assign a benchmark of 70%. Type 70 in the percent box or use the up or down arrows. If you want to customize the report headers, select Use Custom Report Headers. This option allows you to customize titles or add images that will appear in the report header. For more information about test options, see the Remark Quick Stats User's Guide. Next, we'll define the answer key. On the Answer Key window, you can set all your answer keys by first scanning them all before you scan your tests. Or, if for example, you want to assume that the key is in a particular row, select Grid Row from the Answer Key Source drop-down list, select the appropriate grid row, and click Import Key. Remark then identifies the correct responses. Use the Grade All and Grade None buttons to quickly turn on and off grading for all the questions. Next, click the Question Properties link. The Question Properties window allows you to modify the properties for your test questions. If you want the question text to display on the report, you can type or paste the text in the question text box. To include a question when grading, select the question and then select Grade This Question. You can then configure the grade settings, including the question type, data type, and the correct answer. To award all points for the question as extra credit, select the extra credit box. You can also change the weight of a question by changing the correct points value from, say, 1 to 2. And you can also change the value for incorrect responses or unanswered questions. An example might be to assign a negative value for not answering a question. To define a benchmark, select Define Benchmark Value and enter a percentage value for the proficiency level that students should achieve. Benchmark values can only be applied to objective questions. The Learning Objectives window allows you to specify learning objectives or standards for a test. You can apply learning objectives or subtests to the answer key. If you've developed a list of learning objectives in, say, a database file or spreadsheet, click Import to import the list into Remark. You can also create your own learning objectives. For example, let's say there's a section for grammar and a section for punctuation, and we want to know how students performed in these areas. Click the New button and type the name of the learning objective. The new learning objective populates the learning objective section. Repeat this step for each objective. Highlight grammar, select the questions associated with that learning objective, and click the arrow to include the questions with that objective. Repeat these steps for the punctuation objective. Note that questions can be represented in more than one learning objective. If you want to define a benchmark value for the individual learning objective, select the Use Benchmark checkbox. You can choose to use the class average for the benchmark or enter a custom benchmark. We'll use a benchmark of 70 for grammar and 75 for punctuation. You can also edit the grade scale associated with the learning objective or create a new grade scale. To edit the scale score associated with the learning objective, click the Edit Scale Score button to make modifications. For more information, see the Remark QuickStats User's Guide. Click the Test Versions link. 
On the test versions window, you can set up multiple versions of the same test, each version having different answer keys. Using multiple test versions can make it more difficult for students to look at other students' paper while taking a test. You can set up standard test versions, which allows you to enter each key and then have the software match the data to the appropriate answer key, or advanced test versions, where you can map each answer key to the original test, moving the questions to their proper order on each test version. Note, if you've used learning objectives, you must use advanced test versions. For more information about test versions, see the Remark QuickStats User's Guide. If you save the answer key file, you can use it at a later time without having to build a new answer key. All you have to do is load the file and generate the reports. To save the answer key, click Save, type a file name for the answer key, and save the file. When you're finished, click the Grade button. Advanced Grade then generates the reports. In the next video, we'll talk about viewing reports. We'll see you next time.